All right, guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and hopefully kind of a reoccurring. And today we're going to be talking about like the hit list slash hot drops uh, for for the month of December. Now, what I'm kind of trying to focus on with this video is talking about knives that are that I'm excited that are coming out soon and knives that are on my hit list, so to speak. So I'm gonna be breaking down knives that like I want to get personally because with the channel, especially moving to EDC, a lot of it's kind of, you know, more fun. Like a lot of these knives will all cut boxes, but it really comes down to what knives do you like? What knives do you want? And kind of formulating a hit list, so to speak on that regard. So overall for the year things that were on my hit list were things like the Chris Reeve knives um large and cozy which I was able to get a paramilitary 2 um the strider the strider SNG back earlier this year and of course a full sized um XM18 from Hinder but of course as it goes with most knife people the list never really stops and we want to continue to get more knives so that's what this hit list is kind of designed to be is almost kind of like a teaser of what's to come of course I probably won't be able to get all of these knives because a lot of these knives are not the easiest to get but these are the knives that I'm after and if you have any of these knives that I'm looking for feel free to reach out and we might just be able to make a deal so anyways this isn't necessarily something designed to like you know get my subscribers to you know send me knives or like sell me knives stuff like that but ultimately i just thought it'd be fun to be like these are the knives that are on my radar okay so the first two are actually kind of similar and the first one for me is going to be so the first one for me is going to be the Protec Strider SNG slash Strider PT. And I really have actually wanted and passed up ironically on a few Protec Strider SNGs back when I was actually trying to get a real SNG. Not to say that there's anything wrong with the Protex. Obviously, I do want one. But uh, I really wanted a original like or legitimate kind of Strider SNG before going with the Protec SNG or PT. Um, but I do want to add one to the collection primarily because I think it's really cool to have an automatic version of that knife like the SNG is a really cool knife as it stands but to have one that's a push button auto would be I think next level cool so I do want one uh, like an SNG or potentially a PT I know that they are going to be or they're releasing a PT a Protec is releasing a Strider PT collab sometime in the near future so definitely would like to get my hands on one of those because that's probably like one of the higher kind of hit list uh, things that I'm looking for is just one of those guys because they're pretty cool. They're actually, in my opinion, not too badly priced, especially when you consider most of them go for about $200, whereas, you know, uh, a real Strider SNG is going for about $600. So the next one up, and I know it sounds kind of hilarious because it's not that expensive, but a Delica 4. Now, for me, the reason why I don't just have a Delica 4 is because I'm actually looking for kind of just the right Delica 4. They make, similar to paramilitary 2s, they make uh, Delicas in many different steels and many different configurations, blade shapes, coatings, handle colors, and stuff like that. So I'm kind of just waiting to find the right one. There was talk of some higher-end steels like S30V being incorporated into Delicas, so I'm kind of wanting to look around for a little bit of a higher-end blade steel. Steel Delica instead of just going with a plain Jane VG10 version, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with. The Delicas as a whole are really cool, but I just kind of want to get one of the uh, kind of more limited edition or special edition Delicas. So I will likely be added to the list at some point. Don't be surprised if you see one because I do think that they are one of the cooler small carry knives. Okay, the next one up for me is an Emerson or an Emerson collaboration. Now, Personally, I'm not the largest fan of pure Emerson knives. I've handled them before. I have, you know, used them. And for me, I'm not the largest fan of Emerson knives, but I really do like this kind of, at least in my mind, the, you know, mid 2000s or early, you know, 20 teens was kind of like the golden age for knives, at least in my opinion. And maybe that's just, you know, some nostalgia, but uh, a lot of that but during that time, Emerson was one of the more prominent makers. So I really do want to add an Emerson to the collection. But personally, I would really like to get something like a ZT0630 or 0630. Um, that one is really close to like it's a collaboration between Emerson and uh, ZT. But it looks a lot like a um, 
like a CQC family blade. And the thing is, it looks like those, but it still has the nicer blade steels, the nicer build quality, the nicer kind of production end that ZT brings to it. Because ZT, uh, having had several and still own some ZTs myself, you know, they do a really good job at putting together knives. I like what they do. It's just the 0630 is no longer made, so it's a little bit challenging to find. But uh, either an Emerson, like a proper Emerson, or a ZT collab for me would be really cool. Um, so other knives, I feel like we're talking a lot about Spyderco, but one for me would be the Shaman or Manix 2 in the avocado color, essentially. For those that don't know, um, REC or River's Edge Cutlery, they um, made a version or kind of a limited edition run, both of the Manix 2 and of the Shaman that had a tan or FDE blade color and a kind of green, similar to this, handle color. So it, they call it kind of an avocado coloration. And um, I have similarly colored Benchmade Mini, uh, Mini Adamas, but uh, I really like that coloration and I would like to add that. The only thing that I don't like about that is the fact that, or the only thing I don't like about the knife at the moment is the fact that the prices are super inflated. They're going for like over $300 for that setup. So it's definitely not my favorite as far as price goes. So I'm still holding off a little bit, hoping that the price will drop on that eventually. Maybe they'll do another release of both and the price will fall a little bit. So I'm keeping my eye out for that. Um, I'm hoping it goes similarly to the Spyderco like uh, Tonto Paramilitary 2s that there's been so many drops that the price has kind of fallen. Next to that is just general EDC gear. So I'm looking for titanium pry bars and looking to integrate them more into the channel and into my rotation. I'm also looking for more pens as well. Probably will be adding both uh, pry bars and um, pens to the to the EDC rotation, like more uh, variety of them. So already have a few pens, already have a few pry bars, but it'd be nice to have a few different flavors. Now for this one, I don't have any hot drops, but I will be incorporating them going forward and uh, just talking about knives that I'm excited to release or that will be releasing that I'm excited for, I guess I should say. Um, and so that will be included in this video in the future. Don't have any for now, but yes. So anyways, guys, that is kind of my hit list for knives and what I'm looking for, what I want to get in the future, and what would be cool to have in the collection. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.